good day, Tinkercat friends. Yesterday we had an awesome Instagram post where I gave you one of my stories where you could pick whether I created a train or a cat. And the train won by just a couple votes, which was pretty cool, and I appreciate all the interaction. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it is, of course, HL Mod Tech. I am in the process of designing that simple train, and I started messing with the wheel. And I decided I want to make a special movie before I make the train, just showing how awesome this wheel is. You can find the wheel by clicking the Tinkercad Shapes Choice and choosing All. And then at the top of the Shape Generators is the wheel. When you bring the first wheel in, it's got rim style number one, and it's got all of these parts that we can adjust. I don't want you to grab any of the handles though, because that messes these up. I want you instead to learn what the numbers do so we can have fun with it. To make the system more responsive, I'm going to change the tire width to five. So it's going to make it a thinner tire. After a moment, you can see that it settles down and our tire is now thin. And this is especially good since we're going to build a train with these. The next adjustment I want to make is I want the radius of my center bore to be 2.5 millimeters because I'm going to put a 5 millimeter pin in my wheels. This tire depth is this distance right here, so I'm going to change that to 4, which is pretty nifty for a train tire. And then I'm going to change my rim depth to 10, which takes my wheel down to a more manageable size. Now I'm going to use Fit View to Selection and take a look at it from the top. And you see that is a pretty nifty wheel. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to place it to the other side, and then this is how we're going to learn all of the different rim styles. So we've got one nifty tire, but by duplicating it, we can adjust, zoom in, and check out how it looks with the different style rim. Depending on how fancy they are, they do take a second to render. If you set the edge radius to zero, you can see that it gets totally flat. If you slide it all the way across, it just becomes a little more rounded. This design takes quite a while to render, so I'm going to duplicate the other one by doing Control D, and I'm going to switch it to Rim Style 3. That one switched pretty quick. I'm going to switch colors just because it's kind of fun. I'm going to do Control D. Notice it nudges over instantly for me, and of course, we're going to try number 4. Let's zoom in and take a peek at that. Not bad, so that's three and that's four. There are eight total, so let's speed this up a little bit by doing duplicate. And let's drag those duplicates down. And let's just switch these all at once. There's five. Make this one six. Make this one seven. And make the last one eight. And then we can look back to see what we created. Several really slick different tire styles. Uh, crazy cool ways that these could all be used. I think for my train, I'm going to end up using uh, style 5 or style 7. Uh, let me show you one other awesome feature about these though. I'm going to do control D and duplicate that one. It also has different bore styles. So I just want a simple hole, but you could also do a snap hole. And let's zoom in on that. And the snap hole allows you to sit it inside a little socket so that way it stays where you want it attached. And then also we will duplicate that little fella, move him over here to the side and let's see what it looks like with the spin hub. And as you can see, this is to be used with the Tinkercad connectors that they give us. And it looks pretty sweet. This would be the outside that people could see. And this would be where it snaps into your design. So my friends, now anytime you're making a wheeled creation, you can see the possibilities of the wheel. You know what these are 
all connected to and how they adjust it. And if you ever get a chance, make sure you thank this tinkerer for creating these awesome tools that we can use in our creations. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you get a chance, subscribe. And of course, if you want, click that little bell to get notifications of when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching.